Hello everyone, Andy and Stu here at Empty Portman Road where Paul Cook has his first win as town boss 1-0 the Blues beat Plymouth this afternoon. It came early, Troy Parrott with the goal. What do we make of it, Stu? A win's a win. Puts them back into the top six, which is a psychological boost, no doubt about it. Um, really, this game should have been put to bed in the first 20 minutes or so. I don't think I've seen a side start that poorly um, in a match for a long, long time. They could not find a teammate Plymouth, could they, for those first 20 right. minutes. So many unforced errors, balls just going straight to it, to it straight into touch. Credit to Ipswich as well. I think we started to see what Paul Cook's management is all about. They were on the front foot, they were energetic, they pressed high, they played with real tempo in possession, but they just couldn't get that, that killer second, which has been a theme for a lot of the season, hasn't it? Um, Jackson probably had the best of them. The goalkeeper rushed out and blocked him. And we both kind of turned to each other and said, they're not going to be this poor all game. And um, so it was, and, and Plymouth did get better. The tide turned slightly. And in, in the end, Ipswich, I wouldn't go as far as saying we're clinging on second half, but um, I think the term Paul Cook used was we had to dig in. And, and that's probably a fair... Yeah, I think they they did that. I think that they're better players with their defensive players this afternoon. I thought I thought the central defensive partnership of NCR and Wilson was was solid in there. Miles Kenlock had a good game, but the Plymouth threat, just like it did in in the reverse fixture at home park, came largely largely down the left flank. Um, crosses into the box. Camera had a had a chance. Niall Ennis had a, had a chance from a cross. Um, but they, you know, they they weren't clinging on. But we have been here before, haven't we, with, with not taking chances when they're on top and and being punished for it. Thankfully today they weren't and, and like you said, I think you come away from it just feeling like a win's a win. And it and it feels like a big win as well because getting back into that top six is could be a bit of a psychological thing. Any win would have would have got would have got them there today. Portsmouth were were busy losing the Papa John's trophy final of, of twenty twenty to Salford this afternoon. So any win would have taken them back into the top six for the first time since December. And it's been a big old climb to get them back in there, hasn't it, with some decent decent form of late and it could just be another little psychological barrier, do you think, to get them feeling not they're really in this promotion race? It makes me feel like that. Yeah, possibly. Um, I don't think they've ever the performances sometimes results can make you feel differently about things. I'm not sure if the performances have quite matched the, the run of results. Um, recently underneath it, it's baby steps under Paul Cook. He's getting a, a session, a session and a half with these players in between the games. I think we'll really start to judge him first when he gets a full week on the training pitch with these players and, and more importantly when he gets his first transfer window. But between now and then there's 13 games and um, I think it's more a case of just seeing if they can get through these next few games. Fleetwood away is a long trip. The Portsmouth game is going to be a big one. There's a long trip to Wigan and then the run in looks pretty kind for Ipswich. It's the same games that they, they won right at the start of the season. Um, so we'll see how they do. Uh, a couple more notes from today's game before we go. Flynn Downs going off injured in the first half. Hamstring, we don't know how bad that is yet. That really changed the dynamic because he'd started really well, hadn't he, Andy? He had. and he's. I think he's everything that Paul Cook wants from a central midfielder. He talked about that prior to this game. He, he wants central midfielders that are good on the ball, can win it back and can break up play and can also move when they're on the ball. Downs can do all of that. As I'm not sure there's really another midfielder like him at the club and I think he brings the best out of Dazel as well those two have a really good partnership as you'd expect from two young men that have played together since they were eight um, he's, hopefully that isn't going to keep him out for any length of time because he's a, he could be a real miss in that, in that midfield Yeah, partnerships is certainly a buzzword for Paul Cook and he mentioned about those two dovetailing nicely um, another injury absentee today was James Norwood he's missed the game with back spasms apparently something that he'd reported um, around the Accrington game hopefully that won't keep him out too long was the verdict on that he was always going to miss the game at, at Fleetwood on Tuesday night because it coincides with his uh, court appearance over a, um, a speeding case so uh, I thought they, they missed both downs when he went off today and Norwood's physicality up, up front Jackson was a game runner down the down the channels. Doesn't make the ball stick in the same way that Norwood does. And Drynan came on and worked his socks off in the second half, but doesn't really have that same quality as, as Norwood as well. So 
Um, those two were big blows. And just finally, before we go, the return of Cole Scoos as well, the long awaited return of Cole Scoos, his first competitive appearance since the, the Coventry game, the one just before the, the containment last year. He, he had a freak knee injury in training at the start of this season, um, had surgery on that, and he is back, came on just after the hour mark. Good to see him. Makes back me handed. smile. It makes me smile, that one. I, I honestly think Cole has got a role to play here between now and the end of the season, particularly if Flynn Downs is out for, for any length of time. We know what Cole is. He's not, he's not a spectacular box-to-box -box midfield player, but he showed some signs of it today. He, he can break up play and he can just land, has a knack for just landing on the ball in, in dangerous areas. He could free up Dazelle as well, I think. Free up Bishop, whoever he's paired with in that midfield, or up midfield. I'm not expecting him to start every game between now and the end of the season, but I think pick and choose the right moments and he could have a real impact for Ipswich.